Fashion people, hello, hello. My name is Gabriel Baradi, and I am the fashion designer of the sustainable fashion brand Shake here in Vienna. And this is a quite, um, yeah, let's say extraordinary video because uh, from now on I will do the videos in English so that more people are going to understand what I'm saying. <laughs> and uh, I got some feedback uh, and did some researches on, on the YouTube channel here and a lot of uh, people wanted to do uh, or asked if I could do the videos in English. So I will do the videos in English from now on. But nevertheless, uh, I hope you will enjoy these um, videos. And first of all, I want to apologize if there are any uh, grammar mistakes or something spelled wrong. I'm sorry, I'm open for feedback. And uh, yeah, let's go. I just wanted to introduce myself again. My name is Gabriel Baradi. I am fashion designer and I have my own independent fashion label for 15 years now. We just celebrated the 15 years anniversary show and uh, this channel is all about fashion from an independent uh, fashion label and um, yeah how to grow your brand how to establish things uh, how to, how you could uh, yeah like grow your brand and of course fashion business so also how you can sell your things um, and stuff like that so it's gonna be really um, yeah I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. And today's video, I want to uh, present to you um, the best offline marketing uh, strategy that you can use. Um, I have some experience in that uh, to sell your clothes directly to the cons customer. So let's jump into this video. And I would be totally wrong here on YouTube if I wouldn't say, please um, give me a thumbs up, give some critics. I, I love to um, uh, get some information on how you like the videos or if I can answer some questions for you. And uh, leave some comments, uh, share, like this video or uh, subscribe to this channel. So let's jump into the video. I just recently did a whole performance and show here in my own shop in Vienna um, and uh, I wanted to present how we did this and uh, why it is such a great idea to still think on offline uh, marketing. So um, selling products online that you are creating or even that you might sew yourself or produce yourself can be very tricky. Um, it, you're competing with extremely big uh, brands and um, I personally don't know even one thing, at least here in Vienna, one single um, brand, text me if that's wrong, who can live with uh, online sales. So online sales is really, really, really difficult. So uh, think of on offline sales. So what I mean with that, we did a performance here in the show and the customers could directly buy the stuff after the show. And I want to talk about how it is, how this was made and what's important. And I think there are four big steps that you should consider. The first one, and this is uh, something that a lot of creative people uh, always miss, is making a budget plan. Make a budget plan before you are planning to do some kind of event and stick to it. Uh, what I mean by that, um, set a fixed pri uh, or, or budget for uh, whatever you will need, a photographer, models, a stylists, um, hair and makeup artists, and so on. Sh maybe you have to buy some shoes if you're a cloth brand, and so on. Make yourself a budget and stick to it, yeah? So uh, when you approach people, say them, I'm doing a show, uh, and always tell them, this is my budget. Can you do it for that budget? And a lot of people will will say, well, um, yeah, or no, <laughs> depending on um, how uh, much budget they have or, or they want. But it is so important that everything is written down <laughs> and that you will stick to this budget. So, um, of course, 
when somebody says, okay, um, I'm doing this for this budget, then they, he or she should uh, stick to that. Uh, so that's why please write it down. Please um, confirm every budget decision. So make a budget is super, super important. And uh, the second one is, um, I did a little list for you. <laughs> uh, the second one is um, gather all your stuff way before this event. So uh, what I mean by that, make a plan whom you will need. So you will need a photographer, maybe models. Maybe um, you can consider this is how we did it. For example, we did a fashion show and a shooting on the same day because I had to book the models and everybody else just once. It's a whole stress, but it's possible to do so. So please um, gather your, your stuff and always have a backup plan. That's also super important because uh, like from my experience last year, uh, one day before shooting and show, my photographer canceled. And this year, like two days before show and, um, and shooting, my uh, hair and makeup uh, person canceled. So this is a really, can be a drama, but stay focused and there is always, always a second decision. We could arrange everything within time, but uh, yeah, that's, that's stressy, but always have a backup plan for stuff. So um, if you booked somebody or models, then have a backup plan whom you could book if somebody is not showing up or whatever. So this is really, really important. And uh, this brings me to fact number three, have your location ready set up for sales. Um, what I mean by this, know every price of every item that you want to sell, have them um, calculated. Uh, if you want to do a video, if I should do a video on how to calculate it properly, of course I can do that. Just give me a note. I will do some uh, videos on that. But have everything in place. Make sure that people can, for example, try things. Um, consider on how a people, if somebody purchases something, how will they carry it home? So if you have big uh, bulky coats, for example, do you have uh, big enough um, bags where people can uh, bring everything back home? So have everything set up for sales. Um, make sure you can accept cards and cash and everything So the, uh, regarding to the regulations in your country. So have everything in place that everything uh, is easy and smooth for sales. This is a super, super, super important. Set up. A deadline list so make all the tasks like a to-do list but always put some dates behind it yeah so for example when should the collection be here put a date and put some uh, space <laughs> so uh, if something is late um, when should uh, models come when should everybody be here so make a real plan and always put some dates and uh, also the time when everybody should show up. So this is very important. Do a really good deadline uh, list, as I'd call it. So not only a to-do list, because a to-do list you make in the morning and you throw it away in the evening. Do a deadline list with everything with a fixed date on it. This is very important. That are my four tips that um, I think are very important if you're doing an offline event. Offline events are very, very important um, and can work super well if you're only just starting out or if you're also an established brand like my brand. I'm here on the market since 15 years. So um, you should always consider doing an offline event. Online sales is very, very difficult. There are super a lot of experts I'm more an expert on gamification in the uh, retail and on offline, so um, consider that it's a very good idea. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thumbs up. It was my first video in English. I hope it is somehow okay for you. And I will do more videos coming soon. Um, stay tuned. Um, thank you very much. Give me some feedbacks. I'm very nervous. So see you soon.